couple of things I want to go through first before we start doing the unboxing. One is I will stick chapters in the video description. So if there's any part of this video you want to skip, you can. Like this bit. If you want to skip this bit, have a look in the video description. It will tell you, you know, some of the other features that I'm going to be doing. And you can jump straight to it. Also, I bought this. Well, me and my wife bought this. Not, not for her, for me, because she loves me. <laughs> and we are multitasking today. Yes. We are drinking tea at the same time. Multitasking. So in this video, which is going to be a two-part, by the way, we're going to do the unboxing on this, showing you exactly what all the parts are, and also explaining to you what it is actually for, what a KVM is for, and why you might want to buy one of these. And as always, I'll stick a link in the video description in case you want to go and check it out, or in case you want to go and buy one. Yes, yeah, so we'll be doing unboxing, uh, a tutorial of what you might want this for, and I will be explaining to you why I want it. Okay, so with that, let's get the unboxing done. And in the second part of the video, the next part, I will be doing an installation, actually setting it all up. I'm going to do an installation anyway in this part, but there's a bigger installation going to happen where I'm moving computers about. So you might be interested in that. So I'm going to rearrange some of my computers, or one of my computers. I'm going to replace it, redo all the wiring, all the networking cables, rearrange it all. So you might be interested in that. So this was not cheap. This, at the time, there was a £38 discount. I can't get that. <laughs> get out. Let's get this out of the way. It was a £38 discount, and it cost £411, or just over. And it's quite heavy. Now then, the reason I went for this one is not because of the make. I have done a product previous to this for uh, Testmark, and I was hoping they would send me this one, but they didn't. So I went out and bought it anyway. And the reason I've gone for this one is because it had the fewest... What's the word? It had the fewest amount of reviews and the fewest amount of negative reviews, if that makes sense. So I thought, I'll give it a try. For £411, if it's no good, it's going back. And it only turned up last night. It's about seven o'clock in the evening, so it's a bit late for me to do a video on. And I thought I'll save it for today, like now. So test mark to enjoy smart. It is extremely heavy, and hopefully it does work. Like I said, I did look online, Amazon, and I looked at loads of reviews of different products or different manufacturers of these, you know, the budget ones and more expensive ones, and it was very confusing. There was a lot of positives and there's just as many negatives as there was positives. And also, the reason I went for this one is because I like DisplayPort and this does DisplayPort rather than HDMI. One of my monitors, I have two monitors sitting here, the one on the left has HDMI but it doesn't have DisplayPort, one on the right does. And I know what you're thinking, well you're going to work on that one. I have an adapter. This is a DisplayPort one end, HDMI on the other. I have several of these. So you might want to do, you know, you might want to need, might want, want to, you might need one of these to uh, sort out any issue where you're going from DisplayPort to HDMI or vice versa. So that is how I'm going to get away with that monitor until I buy another monitor as good as that monitor. Because that's a predator monitor and it's really good. I'll shut up, shall I? So we have a user manual, multitasking. I need a drink because I'm talking too much. We have the main unit itself. Can you see that? It's quite big. Nicely packaged, in my opinion. And there should be loads of cables as well. There should be. There better be. For the amount of money it costs. Let's get everything out. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to lay everything out now, and then we'll carry on talking about it, shall we? Right. 
Right, that is everything you get in the box. I'm going to quickly go through it and then I'm going to talk about the actual unit itself. So we have two, four, six, eight display port cables and I will have a measure up and stick it up there somewhere for you to uh, work out or put the sizes in there. So we have eight of them. We have a power brick. We have an IR sensor. And again, I will have a measure up in case anyone needs to know how long that is. We have a four USB connections and we have a jack plug connection. So that is all the cabling. We have some brackets for mounting it to a rack, server rack, if anyone doesn't know what that is. That is for putting it on a server rack. Probably won't be using that, although I am planning, I haven't told the wife yet, but I am planning on buying a uh, server rack, just a small one, sort of like, you know, that size. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully anyway we have a connection for i believe that is for where is it oh yeah there tx rx connection i'm not sure if i'm gonna need that or not i don't think i will but you never know we have a remote control for controlling everything and uh that is treble o's can't see it might be treble o's it might not be but it might be no batteries though. And the main unit is there. Now like I said, this is designed for controlling. Well this actually controls up to four PCs, but I only want it to control two PCs, yeah, but four sorry, four, two monitors, dual monitors, yeah, A and B. So that'd be dual monitors. So two monitors. So the computer on the left. I'll be using it for that, and the one on the right, I'll be using it for that. Does that make sense? So what I'm going to do now is, well, I'm going to actually talk about this, but before I do that, I just want to explain why I bought it. So I have a computer that's under a desk, and I have a computer that is on display all the time. The one under the desk is the most powerful one, believe it or not, and I want to move it, and I want to put it on another desk on the right and rearrange everything. That's going to be in the second video. In this video, I'm going to connect everything up, show people how they connect and how all this works, and fingers crossed, it does work, because that is a lot of money. It's over £400, a hell of a lot of money. I could have bought one £15, £20, but the amount of bad reviews these things get, I thought, no, we're going to buy a dear one. You know, better to get what you really want, you know, and pay a one-off fee, and job done. So uh, with that, let's get on with it. So we have that be for your IR connection, your cabling there. Yeah. We have headphone socket, power socket, TXRX, USB 2.0, yeah. Keyboard and mouse. Yes, if you didn't know, uh, using something like this will allow, allow you not only to have two PCs, or up to four in this case, up to four PCs all being controlled and shown on you know dual monitors like this but also you will only need one keyboard and one mouse money saving tip that is the idea behind these sort of things so we have output output A output B that's for the dual monitors and then we have inputs there yeah display port inputs so Input from PC1, that'd be PC1 over there, because it's still my favourite, it's the best looking one. And then PC that's under the desk, be for that one, and then two spares. That's how I'm planning on to doing it. So that is all the connections, USB connections, which you get all the cabling for. So it shouldn't be a problem. And then air vents on the side, mounting screws there for putting it on a rack, something like that. Cool, wouldn't it be nice to get a rack? future that's the future dual monitor kvm dual monitor like i said uh, set mini minute seconds i'm not sure what they are yet but the buttons a display your status your ir, IR sensor one two three and four so computer one computer two output a output b scan close yeah USB 2.0, headphones again, on-off switch. And that is it. 
and it looks, it looks to me very professional. So what I'm going to do now is midge up the cables so you know exactly the length of all the cables, roughly the length. I'm not going to do it exact because I know someone's going to say to me, you, you said it was 1.1 and it's 1.110 or 1, 1. You know, 90 or something like that, not quite 100. <coughs> so just to be on the safe side, it's approximate length, all right? That one covered. Not sure about that. Don't think I'd be using that, but I never know. Also, I need to read the instructions just to make sure that I don't miss anything on setting it up. It should be straightforward. It should be plug and play, most of it. But there might be some uh, messing back. We will find out. So uh, with that, let's get on with part two, shall we? First things first, she's up and running. But I did have an issue, and it was this adapter. This little uh, display port to HDMI it would not work. When I connected it into my switch and then into my monitor, it wouldn't work. It wouldn't recognize that monitor on the switch. Don't ask me why but it wouldn't. And I got a feeling it's probably the way they wired this up. Not the switch, the actual adapter. I think, I think to myself, it's probably that. Let me know in the comments what you think. So what I'd done, I thought I'd order a new cable. And let me get the box which is this little baby here. This is called Premium Quality Premium Life. And I will stick links in the video description in case you want to buy one of these cables. And it had really good reviews on it. And I thought, yeah, I'm going to try that. If it doesn't work, it's going back. So I plugged it in and voila, it worked. Yeah, I thought, brilliant. So it's definitely down to buying a cheap cable. These don't cost a lot. But I would have thought it would have worked. But this thing, is a high quality one this cost it's about 32 pound yeah it's not cheap but it also does up to 8k yeah, it's designed for 8k that's why i thought i'll give it a try it should work especially if it's designed for 8k and yeah it does also why i was buying that i thought i might as well get some new cabling so i bought this little baby here this is a display port cable from a max maxna or Maxner, something like that, something like that, and it's a pack of two, and these also do up to 8k, so they should work, and they do, and the reason I went for these, could they do up to 8k, and they're three meters, and I thought, yeah, and it's a pack of two, you get two cables in each box, so I bought two boxes, four cables, yeah, so two for one computer, two for another, these ain't been plugged in yet, but when I strip out all my cabling, Keep an eye out for the next video, part two, yeah. When I do my re-cabling, I'll have a uniformed bit of cabling that you probably will never see, but it'll look nice. I know it's been done. So like I said, it's all up and running. That was the only issue I had. Oh, these little cables also come with a little Velcro or pack of two. Actually, is there two in there? Two in each, I think. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, two. Get two in each. I've got four of them. They're nice little things. Yeah, very pleased so far. No issues. I plugged in my wireless keyboard for now just to test it. And that is also working fine with no issues. Keyboard and mouse, that is. I thought, why does the keyboard and mouse, the wireless one, would work? Because I didn't want to put my main one in. Because I thought, I've got to do all the wiring. or undo all the wiring to plug it in. And I'm not going to do that. There is another downside that might happen it might not because we haven't tried it yet so like i said part two is my main keyboard has rgb lighting on it that might not work or it might not work with the software that's on the computer so something to bear in mind right before i show you up and running let me quickly go through how i set to up so we have display port one and two for the computer on the left you see that all right yeah, you can. Uh, USB. Also, you need to plug in the USB. It will not work if you don't. The keyboard and mouse will not work, yeah? One on the right. So, computer on the right, display port, display port, USB. And then we have, for the two monitors, the top one is for the monitor on the right, display port only. 
and the bottom one is for display port to HDMI for the monitor on the left works perfectly and then the USB adapter see that USB adapter and the power you need power no matter what I'm going to move the actual camera I'm going to move it about a bit so I can show you it actually working yeah very pleased so far I know it's not cheap but you do get what you pay for, fingers crossed. <laughs> and it's working, so I'm happy. You can buy them a lot cheaper, but I can't guarantee they're going to work. But they might do. Anyway, on with the show. Right, let's have a quick look at it actually working, because I know you lot want to see it actually working. I'm going to use a remote for this. And we're on computer number two at the moment, which is the one on the right. Now we're going to switch over to the number one. And there is a bit of a delay there. Don't expect it to be instant, but it does work. And also, the HDMI one takes a couple of seconds longer to come up, or a second or two. I'm not sure how long it takes up. But yeah, it does work. So you can go from you know, one computer to another. You can use the same key keyboard and mouse if you needed to. You know, if you need to look at anything, like cabling. And think, oh yeah, yeah, let's go back to number two. Give it a second, there you go. So it's all working, brilliant, yeah? Well pleased, definitely gets my thumbs up. For the amount of money it costs, I know it's not cheap, but this can be used on a rack, can be placed in a rack. Also, you can attach that little green thing and use it to control other devices or restart other devices if you needed to, like a server, something like that. I believe that is what that little green thing I showed you earlier does that that is what that is designed for and the other thing I like about it you can plug in up to four PCs so you get dual monitors four PCs plugged into it at the same time I might actually I might actually be plugging in another PC as well in a future video if you're interested but my next video for this if you're interested will be completely rewiring that computer will be moved from there and placed on that desk. That desk will be completely redone. That monitor is definitely going. And yeah, it should look very nice. But that is a lot of work to do and will take probably a couple of days to do. It took me a couple of days just to do this and that is purely for the fact that this little thing wouldn't work. And that's working. Well, this ain't working, but I did have a sneaking suspicion that it wouldn't work or if it didn't work it would be because the way it's been configured inside let me know in the comments if i'm right about that and let me know in the comments whether you like this little video or you're thinking about buying something like this let me know because i'd be interested to find out whether or not you're interested in buying something like this it definitely works definitely gets my thumbs up and i'm looking forward to setting it all up properly so with that if you like this video you know what to do, give me a thumbs up, and uh, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. I'm well chuffed. It works.